Welcome to the Save Park Golf Podcast, where two average golfers talk about golf and things. I'm your host, Derek. You know, we just said, damn, we're doing it without the script. And then you forgot the words. I forgot it. I know. God, it uh, feels good. It does. I'm Dominic. And we are on episode 119, and uh, we're going going way back this time. When's the last time we did one? Just you and I. It's, It's been a while, a couple months. Yeah, I remember one of our resolutions was to do just you and I like once a month. And that has not happened. And we've been booked up almost every week. We're yeah, booked guests, up till June, which is very cool. We're excited. We love the guests. Um, obviously there was a little bit of an issue this week, but it's fine. Cool. we we life yeah, happens. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we, you know, it's kind of nice for a change that we're able to do it like this. I feel like it's a little less pressure. Not kind of weird. Stressed. It is weird that we're like not actually interviewing somebody. Well, we came in super prepared. I shouldn't say that. You came in super prepared. Well, kind of. Yeah. I always wing it. And and this time I tried to wing the wing the intro and clearly I mean you I mean it, it worked yeah I just mumbled a little bit but in any case we're excited we um I mean it's probably be a shorter episode we'll ramble on about some things we're going to talk a little bit about the 2024 Players Championship which is going to be going on this week um so we'll do uh, picks uh, dark horse who we want to win who we think will win and then we'll we'll kind of dive into um the live golf with anthony kim i want to talk about him yeah, yeah i think that's a good to- a good topic um and then from there we'll just kind of ramble on we also have an event that we are um hosting uh in july and it, we're in our hometown so right in our backyard here um with odin golf i would say home state home state that's true because uh, neither of us are from where we're hosting no not too far suburb but it's it's yeah i guess that you're probably right but we got a we uh we're excited about that. We've been working really hard on that. Um, shout out to Jordan, Big Phil, and I was down on myself. We've uh, we're excited about it. So we'll, uh, you know, we we don't have all the details, but we'll talk about that a little bit. So um, if you're interested in in playing an event, I think it will sell out pretty quickly. Uh, it's going to be a scramble, but again, we'll talk about it a little bit further down the road. And because it's later on this year, it's not going to snow. We should be safe. Yeah, not- it's in it's in July. So we we should be safe. Um, and if it does snow in what July, does we have snow? issues. Yeah. Granted, our wet, our winter's been so nice here that I mean, it's just gonna flip. That I have a theory. Yeah. I think we're gonna get a blizzard in like June. And, and in February from now on is actually gonna be like fifty degrees yeah. normal. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be the normal temperature. Um, let's let's get right into the 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 players championship. Um, so this is my favorite event yep. ever. Like everyone's like, man, the Masters. You know they love the uh. The majors. I love the players. I love Sawgrass. I like the island hole. And I know every, I shouldn't say every course has an island hole, but a lot of courses have an island hole. There's just something about Sawgrass. DPC Sawgrass looks dope. It's one of the few courses that I would let chew me up and spit me out. And then I'd pay more money to do it again. again. Yeah. Uh, Scotty Shuffler won it last year. At Obviously, 17 he's, under. Yeah, he's. He won by five. He's, he's yeah. so incredible. He's such a solid golfer. He's obviously the favorite. Um, funny enough we called him the kirk cousins of golf so he definitely is however Mm -hmm. kirk cousins hasn't won a super bowl well i mean neither has i I mean to be fair shaffle hasn't won a super bowl either i don't think he's won any majors has he no yeah he's won majors so i guess technically he'd be kind of winning a super bowl if you look at it like if you you were going to translate it in golf though like a major championship i'd say he's probably like super bowl right i mean there's like four super bowls in golf if you're that's a really uh, shitty way to look at it for kinda, sure yeah <laughs> kind of it kind of diminishes the super bowl yeah, a little bit yeah it's kind of like the playoff game how many majors do you want i know he's won he's won the masters you know what now we're gonna i didn't want to i didn't want to ask that out yeah, loud but i'm like sure he's won the masters yeah i know he won the green jacket once but i think he's won two majors you know like you know how to yeah. spell his name yeah uh I'm you just think... type in scotty shuffler wins yeah i was just gonna go straight to the majors and this is kind of nice we're really you know one. He won one major. It and was the Masters. The Masters. Okay. I mean, so it was, I, knew I, mean, I guess jack. I guess if he's going to win one, yeah, that's probably the one. one. Yeah. yeah, I think that'd be. I think the only other thing, the only other major I, I think that would be close would be um, the Open Championship at uh, St Andrews. That you, would be epic. You know what my issue with the Masters is? What? You're gonna yell at me. It's in the same place every year. No, oh. no, I hate that. It's the first one. That yeah. The, it's a little bittersweet because it's kind of like it's like a kickoff like once that one goes in yeah. it's like yeah then it's like, i feel like since the masters is so prestigious i feel like it should be the final one 
I'm not a NASCAR fan whatsoever, but it's the same. The Daytona 500 yeah. is the same. That's thing. the only race yeah, I know about. Yeah, that yeah. should be the final race. It's the first race, and which is weird. I tuned into it, actually. The, randomly, I was running on the treadmill, and I was like... I just I, want people to crash, I, yeah, to it, be honest. It was a... So my, my... And not die. Yeah. My 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 grandma's side, they're all big and they were all really big into NASCAR and racing until Dale Earnhardt died. And then like they it was weird. It was like after church, yeah, they would tune in every Sunday. And then once he passed away, it was like it was just, just so, shut down. Brad loves NASCAR. Uh-huh. And I haven't said this to Brad yet. And the beauty is Brad doesn't listen. So it's so Brad fun. hates technology. I want to convert his son. His son's one. Okay. Right, so we got Brad. So Brad loves American Muscle. Mm-hmm. I love JDM Imports. I'm trying to convert his little one year old into the imports to being into like two Jay Z's, like a swapping cars. Like yeah, I'm like yeah. Here's a Skyline. Here's Brad's yeah. all about the Mustangs or the American Muscle. Oh, power. Brad won't touch a Mustang. No, what is? Got to be a Corvette. Corvette. Okay, yeah. I, 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 I'm yeah. not a Mustang fan either, to be honest. I am. But um, give me a dark horse. I would say most people would. Uh, when yeah, you think so, of like American Muscle things. Like you think of like yeah. Camaro, vet, old vet, or yeah. Like so I'm trying to get his little boy into like Nissans and like here's this Honda Civic and you know here's this Type R. Which you know if you think about it, and they're cooler. And NASCAR used to be Chevy, Ford, and all. There's a lot of Toyota. Like hey, Camry, Toyotas are cool. Toyotas are a huge. They've actually been doing really well. Again, I don't know why we're going on this rabbit hole, but it was just so interesting that. I ended up watching the Daytona 500, just like the last little laps, and they did the. It was like a crash, like right before, yeah. And it was cool. I, everyone was fine. I mean, it sucks for the people that are but yeah, racing. That, that's my finish. issue with the like. I understand yeah. it's it's the kickoff, but I'm like, you know, people have like, I don't want to say like this love affair, but people like to me, it's a little overblown. With a lot of people, they're like, "Damn, it's the fucking Masters," and I'm like, I get it, I really do. Why isn't it the last one if we're gonna overblow this thing? Because to me, the kickoff, just like the Super Bowl, right? Going back, yeah, to it, it's yeah, it's, it, the last. It's, it's the fine, it's the last hurrah, mm-hmm. right, of the season. Uh, to me, the kickoff is the waste, waste management open. Yep. And then I get the super started. excited for the players, obviously. But I feel like the Masters should be the last one, and then you could put I don't know which one's after the Masters. Be totally honest with you, and like scheduling wise, uh, should be. Is it one of the open? See, the open is yeah. The PGA Championship is usually the last one. See, so and it's it, a, it, like open. that kind of makes sense. Yeah. But like, why is why could you do the Masters and then the PGA Championship? I think if you're like looking at like on a sports side of things, like the Daytona 500 and the Masters are like the only two sporting events that have like arguably the biggest events in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Which it that, is kind of weird. It would be like the Super Bowl teams rematching for Super Bowl game one. And then that's a really games. that's a really bad yeah, but that, that's a bad I example. That, yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying though. It's it's kind of weird, but yeah. Uh back to the players' championship. Scotty won it last year, so it sounds like he won. Uh he's got a major uh championship. Um he was a master champion, which I again I thought I thought he won two for some reason. He just wins. So Wasn't his menu like super badass and full of like barbecue? I think you're right. Yeah, oh, that awesome cool. menu. Um, so this is Dom Dom's favorite event, TPC Sawgrass Players Championship. Um, we we haven't done this obviously in a long time because we haven't really just it hasn't been just Dom and myself. So we we've done this in the past where we do uh, again we mentioned the intro, but we'll pick a, a favorite of who person who we think is going to win a person who we would want to win and then a dark horse. And we've kind of decided before this episode that the dark horse would be anyone that's above plus 6,000. And for anyone who is listening, do not take our advice for gambling. I know we're not to that level as far as, uh, can but, we even legally gamble? Not here. No, not like sports, level, bet? which is stupid. You can like draft Kings, you know, that's but you have to same. pick a lineup. Yeah. So, but in any case, if you're somewhere else listening, do not take our advice. We do not do any. Yeah. Uh, Last time I gambled, I lost a ton of Derek's money. <laughs> Where was that at? Oh, that was that. Was you the- were really drunk. Sure. <laughs> That's right. That was at that concert. Yeah, I wasn't old enough to drink yet. Mr. Sober Cap. I had to be that the Sober nice. Cap. Yeah, yeah we saw nice. the fray. The fray. Huh? Do, do you remember any of that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that was, was awesome. They were good. Fray, yeah. That was back in my day, too. It was kind of a cool classic uh, concert. Uh, and then we got free tickets. And it was free. Yeah. And then we lost money. You lost money. Yep. Yeah. That was the first time I played roulette. 
I love roulette. It was fun. Yeah, roulette's fun. Never again. <laughs> um, I'll let you. I'll let you kick it off. Who do you want to start with? The dark horse. Or you want to go straight up with who you who you think? Yeah, hold on. on. I just paid for my parking, and I paid for the right car this time. That's that helps. Yeah. Well, he's doing a little bit of that. I'll oh, think. I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, or who? We, Let's go with who we think is going. Who to win. we think is going to win? Yeah. Um, I have a weird feeling that this is kind of a Victor Hovland thing to lose. Uh, why? I have no idea. It's just it. It feels right. Yeah, he's in the top what five or six for as far as uh, well. And last year he was, I think, tied for third. I like Victor Hovland. I like Victor. Yeah, that's a good pick. Um, I just feel like picking Scotty is a kind of cop out. No offense if you pick Scotty. No, no. Um, I was actually going to go with uh, Xander Shoffley, which is actually the same odds as Victor Hovland. Yeah. 2200. Uh, I like Xander. He's solid golfer. I feel like he's always kind of in contention and said he's one of the top picks So uh, in the field. So I think that's kind of a safe pick. Um, who do you think uh, – who would you like to see win? Who would you want to win? Um, it's no secret that I'm a big fan of this guy. And I just saw a commercial of him yesterday with my dad. Uh, Colin Morikawa. Colin Morikawa. He's like one him. of the, to me, he's due. Mm-hmm. Um, big fan of Colin. Obviously, it's been a while since we've really talked real golf other than having guests on. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a big fan of Colin Morikawa. I love his game. There was a, a commercial my dad and I were watching TV last night. And it was um he hits out of the brush and the ball bounces everywhere and then it's in the water and then like no way this gator has and the gator spits, spits it out, out and it rolls in the hole. What but then it pans over to shooter McGavin. And my dad's like, look, it's shooter. And I'm like, no, it's Colin Morikawa. <laughs> what, what is that like an insurance? Is he, like, I I forget, it before. But yeah, that was my first time seeing it. And I was like, no, it's Colin Morikawa. So I'm taking that as a sign. I think Colin has a very good chance. And if it's not Colin. Um, to me, I'm surprised that this guy has such high odds as well. But Max Homa, 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 Max Homa, Homa. But I'm picking Colin. Okay, I I'm actually gonna pick the guy who also has the same odds, but right below him is Jordan Spieth. Again, same thing. He's been playing a really good golf. Granted, I don't know if you saw that a couple of weeks ago where he got actually DQ'd, which is wild. Cause yeah, because he, he signed the scorecard and yeah, it was the correct wrong. score. Yeah, which again. Going back to the stuffiness of golf, I'm not saying that it was the PGA Tour's fault. I feel like because... they should be able to like say, "Hey, yeah. like, like here's a warning." Yeah, or like, "Hey, you feel this all wrong?" You know, there's been how many times have people getting like, they'll call in and say, "Hey, the ball moved." Yeah, and then now they get penalized for a stroke. Yeah, well, and it's like the just... next day. Yeah, why can't yeah. they just do that? So, I mean, I I uh, doubt that will probably happen again to Jordan Spieth, and I think honestly, it was just it was just an honest mistake. But he's been playing really good golf and. He's one of those guys too, with all these people living to the live golf tour. Um, he's one of those fan favorites. Mm-hmm. Jordan Spieth is awesome. And I'm hopefully he can, you know, get back into gear and 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 start winning some events. So I, I'd like to see him win. Um and and yeah, we both picked, like I said, we've got a couple of good picks. We're all on the same same odds. There's one that strikes me as why he's so low uh, or so high. I feel like we both are gonna pick the same guy as the yeah. dark horse. Yeah, I'll let you go ahead. Uh why the hell is Ricky Fowler at plus twelve thousand? I didn't even get that far down the list. See, like that's like, really dark horse. See, like I'm not like a huge Ricky guy, mm-hmm. but to me, Ricky at plus twelve thousand is kind of disrespectful. A little bit, because yeah. like don't get me wrong, he's not the same player he was. But he's still but got plenty of game. He's got plenty of game. He won last year, not this event, but he yep. did win last year. So I feel like he's kind of got the monkey off his back. Mm-hmm. Um. Plus 12,000 to me is wild. I mean, that's along the same lines as, like, guys I've never heard of. Like, who... Well, I've heard of Billy Horschel. That's a bad example. But, like, who is this, like, Denny McCarthy? He's been around for a while. Yeah, kind of an old vet. Who the... But just been kind of a guy that will make cuts. Not, like, a big winner. Yeah, and obviously, like, he's got the same odds as Justin Rose, which, don't get me wrong, that's disrespectful of Justin Rose as well. Yeah, he's a gold winner. And Billy Horschel. But, like, you're going to have Ricky Fowler at plus 12,000. I'm to be honest with you, I was hoping you were going to say this guy right here, Jake Knapp, because Jake Knapp is the guy that I was telling about earlier, the guy that won the event. Oh, is that the big ago. dude? Super buff guy. And the reason why we're talking about it is um, um, uh, at uh, Cragen's Golf Resort, they host an event now. It's a Canadian golf 
it's a, it's a Canadian PGA Tour, basically. Yeah. Um, I think forget the exact. I think it's tournament. PGA Tour Canada. Yeah, exactly. And anyway, he kind of that's kind of where he he was playing in those events, and I I don't think he won that event. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know he played in those events because I know when he did win the uh, tournament a couple of weeks ago, they were posting and talking yeah. about it. So I was hoping you were going to actually say <laughs> his name because that was the guy. I couldn't remember his name, which yeah. I think he's now kind of a, a fan favorite. Um, there. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was torn between Ricky or Keegan. Keegan, uh, Keegan Bradley. Bradley yeah. yeah, he's at plus 10,000. So I, okay, you went pretty deep those are definitely dark horses well yeah i'm not gonna like no. play around and do like the bare minimum and pick tony finau well so that's is that who, who you're picking that's who i was picking because even at plus six thousand because that's kind of what we decided as a cutoff for like dark horse yeah that's that's feel, that's like the minimum i feel like same thing tony finau could be in the top 10 top 15 contenders mm-hmm. I mean, he, he he's one of those guys that can always put together he can string three to four solid rounds together it's just more or less trying to get that w yeah but the guy has so much game. He's a long ball hitter. Um, and when he's on, he's on. But I, I do I think, like your pick. Yeah. But I think it. I mean, again, I'm not. This this is has nothing to do with betting on it. But I'm like, it's only if you know plus. I mean, even Matt Fitzpatrick at seven. Mm-hmm. The the the, the odd Irvin, or Tom one? Hoagie, like Tom Hoagie, last year in this event got like he top three. I think he was tied for third with Hovland. Okay. And I'm like, how is he so low? Like, I, I don't understand how odds work by any means. But it's a little bit different. I mean, I don't, I'm sure there's obviously a, there, there's different factors that I go would, into it. Of how golf's the one sport I would never bet on. It's hard. Yeah. It's, it's, because I mean, you're not, it's not one game, it's four days or yeah. two days if you make the cut, you know. So there's, there's a lot of variables that go into it. Well, and like the thing for me is like, if you look at like, like, I think the world number one right now is Rory, correct? Scotty. Is it Scotty? Yeah. I think Rory is what, too? To me, if you're looking at overall golfers, I you'd have to be hard-pressed not to pick DJ to win every round. Because Dustin Johnson's like a freak of nature. Mm-hmm. I see Rory's, too. Yep. But it's like, you know, DJ's DQ'd all the time. Or not DQ'd, but misses the cut. And now he's DJ? Yeah. And now he's at Liv, so yeah, now he's... Now he can't miss the cut. Yeah, now he can't miss the cut. He can the just beauty get those of... big checks. Fuck yeah, dude. I would. <laughs> yeah. Generational wealth. He he is arguably one of the – I mean, he's such a good golfer. He's one of those guys that any in any tournament, he, he he's – Wyndham done. Clark is five? Yeah. What the hell? Um. Yeah, so just to kind of go – as of yesterday, uh, Scotty Scheffler, number one, Rory, number two, John Rahm, number three, Victor, four, Wyndham Clark – Xander, Patrick Cantlay, Max Homa, Brian Harmon. Brian Harmon, number nine. That's crazy. Who the hell is game. Ludwig? Ludwig. Isn't Lud- that isn't that a Harry Potter thing? Is it Ludwig or Ludwig? The V is silent, Ludwig? Or is it I think it's Ludwig? Oh, so from this far away, it, it looks, looks like, like a W. A Ludwig, okay, yeah, Ludwig. I just saw L U D and thought yeah, Ludwig. I, I there's some of these guys, again, obviously with people leaving to live. Those rankings are damn. Kind of we off should the we should go pro and just see where we land. So now there's yeah, there's a lot more opportunity for some of these other guys. Um, but yeah, no, those are those are. I mean, we'll see what happens, how it plays out. It'd be kind of cool to see one of the guys that we chose wins the event. We should we should like, fuck. We should have written this down, and then been like, damn, who made the better picks? We can do that. We can. Do, I mean, we'll obviously be able to listen to this back, and then we could talk about it next here. week. I will add it to my notes. So. We will do that. That's my work note, my alarm code stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I picked Dom picks. I picked who did I pick? Pick Victor, Victor, Hovland, um, uh, Rory or Ricky, this is Dark Horse, and then oh, and then uh, I'll call it Morikawa. That's who it is. Yeah, Colin of two L's or one L, two. What a weirdo. Mora Cow. I there's no way I spelled his name right. Don't look at don't look at my phone. You're pretty close. There was just I think there was an I instead of oh, ah, no, it's I am way yeah, off. Yeah, a little bit. Mori and then Cow. Yep. And then Ricky Dicky. Good old, old B D Rick. No. And then uh Jordan Spieth. Hold on, I gotta type in your name. Durky, Durky, Durky. Uh, who did I pick to? I picked to win was uh, Xander Schaff. 
basically. I'm not spelled his last time. I'm just typing Xander. Yeah, you're good. Pretty sure I picked Xander. Yep. yep. And then uh, Jordan Spieth. And I went with uh, Tony Finau plus 6,000. Tony. Tony. Okay, that, that's good. If, yeah, we said we haven't done this in a while, so it's kind of nice change. Yeah, we should see who, scenery a little bit. We should see who makes better picks. That would be a cool little bit. I mean, we used to do it quite a bit, like almost every tournament, but it would be nice to like keep like a full on like year year tally. Year tally. We'll picks better. And then maybe at the end we'll do something cool for the see, win. And then the issue is like I just pick cool names. Well, we can I mean, well this this will give us a little bit more incentive to kind of do a little more research. I mean, I feel like you pick good picks. Regardless. I just feel like Ricky at 12,000 is yeah. ridiculous. But I mean, we have a total of 3 picks each, so we I mean, we feel like and we could always do like uh like so even if you don't pick it right and I don't pick it right, we could take like, you know, your guy finished second. So you can so get yeah, X yeah. amount of points. Well, yeah, right. that's what you I know? want to see is like yeah. who has the most higher picks. So what we could do is take their FedEx points for that tournament. So yeah. like, yeah, if they get like whatever X amount of points for that. For that. Yeah. So I, I know you're not watching full swing yet. Yeah. No, nope, they not. broke down how the FedEx points work. And I was like, that is the dumbest thing ever. There's a lot of golf. It's based on like how much money they win. Yeah. It's all about their earnings. I was like, what the it. hell? Why can't they just say, okay, you got 20th place. You get X points. Nope. Yeah. They, you got 20th place. So you got this amount of money. And so you're in this. Yeah. yeah. That's how they get yeah. it off the dollar amount. Just whatever. But um, that'd be a good idea. Though. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. And we could figure out something. Maybe whoever's listening or watching can kind of give us some. I don't want to say we want to do one of those like crazy, stupid fantasy challenges because we're not like it's that deep work. into it. That's yeah. too much work. But we could do something cool at the end. And I don't know, whatever it might be. Come up with Winner gets cool. like a dollar. No, something better than that. Two dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just give me one of those big checks. I don't care. Uh, I get you one on Etsy. <laughs> Uh, okay transitioning over to imagine getting that in the mail it's just yeah it's all folded up golf yeah you gotta unroll it two dollars it's like a scroll yeah i'm gonna get it framed that's a big ass frame yeah yeah. bring that to michael's cost like seven hundred dollars here i want you to frame two dollar uh check two dollar big ass check that doesn't that doesn't work i love it that's good my favorite thing is happy gilmore Where's my check? Oh, it, it it's in the mail. I want the big one. Yeah, you can just give me one of those big checks. Yeah, just I don't give me one of the big ones. Like we don't have them, sir. Um. Okay, let's transition over to Live Golf. So I know you'd mentioned obviously the big talk for the last few weeks has been uh, Anthony Kim. I know you wanted to mention it, which I think it's a good. I love topic. how you're like, let's move over to Live, and you're still on how many majors I, does Scotty Scheffler win? I know. I was, <laughs> I was actually on it, and I switched back over, but um, what? Let, let's yeah, let's go into Anth- the Anthony Kim talk. So first. I want to start by saying. I was really young when Anthony Kim was popular. Because when was he popping? Well, he, I mean, it's got to be early 2000s, so, all the way up into 2012 when he so, got injured. Yeah, I mean, if we take, so he's missed 12 years. So 12 years ago, I was 14. So it means he left when I was 14. He's I have back. no recollection of Anthony Kim. And he was 25. I think at that time. And so he had won three, three events. Um, yeah. So I had no idea who Anthony Kim was for a long time. I just think it's obviously we'll get to it. Mm-hmm. I think people clowning him for shooting a 76 or whatever he shot is the dumbest thing I've ever heard because I guarantee you, you sit at home, you can't shoot a 76. And if you can, you're not making the money that he's going to be getting paid. No, you know what I mean? No. Good for him to be able I, I think it's an awesome thing for golf. I know it's live, not PGA tour, but I still think it's really cool to see like that story. And hopefully, like one day there's gonna be like a Netflix. I know obviously they do the, the Netflix full swing yeah. PGA tour, but I think it'd be really cool to see a documentary. I'd imagine there's already something probably in the works for it. He was saying that when the time's right, he wants to tell a story. About, yeah. And I and I think that would be a really cool story. But like it'd be it'd be really cool to see him win. But you know, with that being said, like you said, like you were saying earlier that he shot like a 76 and it's like, honestly, that's kind of like expected. I would love to shoot a 76. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I would points. love to shoot an 80. Right. Exactly. But he did. Um, I believe he shot a 65 yesterday. Oh, no. Yesterday, Tuesday. Sorry. So it'd be Sunday. I was going to say, that um, was not yesterday. No. Yeah. It was Sunday. He shot a, a 65. And again, you know, he's it was just this is a second event back. Um, he's been out since been 12 years from a 
an Achilles injury. And we were talking about that before and I didn't realize it was an Achilles injury. And, and I knew, I knew that there was a, an insurance. Uh, the reason why he wasn't playing was due to insurance and all that. Yeah. I, I knew it was some kind of, of amount of money. Yeah. I knew it was some kind of injury. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know what kind of injury. I, for some reason, I was thinking it was like a back injury, but yeah, I mean, it's I was the same wrong. thing. I mean, he wasn't I'm yeah. just kidding. It's totally different. But he was, yeah, he was kind of like the up and coming, like next star. I don't want to say he was like the next, you know, Rory McElroy, but he was kind of like it was, you know, he was a Nike athlete. Mm-hmm. Um, Tiger was obviously in his peak, and he was kind of this young, kind of young guy that was starting to play really, you know golf at a top level so this art not to interrupt you but no, this, this article from today yeah says jay monahan says pj tour had discussions with anthony kemp interesting i don't want to say that they're going to sign him because it has so i wonder if he, he probably to, reached out to him before before he went to live it sounds so, like i think like live makes more sense for him yeah coming I, back and everything and and from my understanding too greg norman was i mean he obviously played played on the tour too. And yeah. it sounded like he was trying to get him to he's been trying to get him to play for a while. So, so this is my thing. This I I think this is where Liv is super good for golf. You have guys like Anthony Kim coming back after 12 years. He gets to play three competitive rounds and not worry about getting cut. Mm-hmm. Like that's kind of the beauty of I know everyone's like, oh man, they can't get cut. It's all about the money. Something like this, or even like the college kids. This is a great way to play competitive golf and not worry about getting cut. No, you get three competitive rounds. I get it's not the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Dustin Johnson's there. He's pretty freaking good. Uh, Cam Smith is there. He's pretty freaking good. good There's a lot of – Phil Mickelson's an all-timer. And you look at – he's actually one of my favorite golfers even before he moved to the Live Golf Tour. I can't even pronounce his name. It's Joakim – Neiman. Neiman. Yeah. He's a superstar. Is it Joaquim or Joaquin? Joaquin. Yes. I just, I did that on purpose. Make sure you pay attention. I'm always paying attention. <laughs> but Except yes. when my EDD kicks yeah, in and I'm staring at the freaking wall. Like, nah, you okay? <laughs> um, no, but he's been one of my favorite golfers for quite some time, even when he was on the PGA Tour. I mean, he was always just like finishing in the top five, top mm-hmm. 10, and he was still really young. I mean, he's a guy that looks like he weighs 140 pounds dripping wet. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's just, uh, kind of a taller, skinnier guy, but he can mash the ball. Yeah. He's, com- he's very, very... Uh... But I think this is where Liv can really shine, right? Because now you're giving a guy who was at the top of his game who suffered an injury and then left for 12 years. You're giving him a chance to play competitive golf for an entire weekend. Like, I, I get it's not PGA where you don't have that stress of getting cut or making the cut. It's a fresh start, maybe. But it's a fresh start, and now he's played six competitive rounds, and every round has gotten better. Or two competitive rounds. Or six rounds. Yeah, you're right. Two yeah, events, no, I, six I, I can yeah, count. I, it I, helps, I, it can't, helps. I can't count. Well, it helps that this article said that he six. played six. I, I just heard it wrong. Sorry, I thought you said six events. No, he's played six rounds. Yeah. Because Liv only plays three rounds. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Only three. Which, I don't know. Do you, what, do you, what do you think about that? The three, three rounds, rounds versus four rounds. I mean, to me, it makes more sense because the Thursday rounds, to me, never really. I don't want to say they don't count because they they count, but it's never. I'm not really paying attention until Friday. But some people won't even pay attention until Saturday after the cuts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, to me, that's when the real event starts is after the cuts. But I don't know. I never really pay attention Thursday. So I guess for me, it's not a big difference or a big deal. I'm also not one of those golf purists where it's like, damn, you got to wear pants. You got to, you got to, you know, do this, this, and this. I'm like, that doesn't really fit my style. If I'm like, because with the ESPN Plus app, which I believe you have too, I I mean, I they normally will have the... I do. Yeah, they'll normally have the Thursday rounds uh, on, on the ESPN Plus app. So depending on like what my, my work schedule is like, I'll just kind of put it on the background, just kind of yeah. let's do it depending on the event. But if it's a major, obviously I'm tuning in all four days. I'm, at least I'm going to try to. Um, but yeah, I hear you. I, I do like the three day events. Um, I'm still, I, I like both, uh, PGA tour and live golf. I think they're totally two different. I think styles. there's, I think there's a place for both. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I think again, 
we've talked about it numerous times before. I don't like all these changes because it just kind of happened so suddenly or just so sudden. It was like, what the hell? Like everyone's going here. Mm -hmm. Some people are staying here. And then it was all these rumors. Ricky's gone. Like, all these people are gone. And then some aren't. And and I like the four days. I like the cuts. Yeah. But I at the same time I do like the three day events. I will but I also will say that I haven't really tuned into a whole lot of live events. I've watched a couple. Yeah. Uh, I've seen DJ win a couple events, but I haven't really tuned into a whole lot of them. Yeah, I just kind of forget. I I mean, I kind of forget the PGA is on sometimes, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff kind of just blurs together. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, Anthony Kim's back. He's back. <laughs> and, and he just shot a 65. And it's like, again, that's crazy. crazy. Just shaking the rust off. It would be so cool to see him win the event. Well, and like that's my big issue is everybody on Instagram is like, damn, what a scrub. I'm like, he hasn't played competitively in a decade. A decade plus. And then he came back and was like, shot a 65. And I was like, Jesus. And when you think about it, like not only has he played in that, like, like you're also aging in that yeah, he's time. 38. Right. So it's like it's like obviously basketball, baseball, and all of them are totally different sports. It's like, you know, you hit that certain age. And like eventually your body's gonna start to kind of mm -hmm. decline. So the fact that he's able to kind of still play competitive golf. Look at that picture. Yep. That's you with old Filski. No, well, that's young Filski. Yeah, I guess young Filski. Young right. Filski. Um speaking of Filski, uh I was watching Tin Cup mm -hmm. around that's Christmas. Great movie. I was watching it in the car. I forgot that Phil Mickelson has a cameo in that movie. He does, yeah. And it's Young Phil. Young Phil, yep. I love that movie. That's a it's a great movie. Underrated golf movie. Nobody ever has it in like it's, their top. It's show. always Caddyshack and Happy Gilmore, which rightfully so, they're both great. I, I think Caddyshack is overplayed though. To be totally honest. I understand it's great, but I'm like, cool. Like I th I think it depends on like what uh like what age you are, you know, because I feel like for yeah. our generation, at least from you know, I would say Happy Gilmore hundred percent. Which Caddyshack in terms still, of like your favorite? Yeah. And I still like Happy. I mean, I like Caddyshack, but I think I, that's obviously it was a little bit older in my time. Yeah, but it's still a good movie. And, and Tim Cups really, Tim Cups really good. Uh, I mean, there Legends hasn't... of Bagger Vance is actually really good. What's well, the one with Shia LaBeouf? Legends of Bagger Vance. I don't think that's the one with Shia LaBeouf. No, I thought it was maybe. I feel like you're wrong because it's a Disney movie. I could be. I could be wrong. It's like the greatest game. The greatest game. Game that is the, the greatest one. game ever played or something. Yeah, that's a good one. Have you Have you watched the? Uh um the one that i just mentioned no i've never actually heard of it uh is it like black and white and silent no <laughs> uh, which one did i say it was the greatest game I ever played no that's i said that's one of shia yeah yeah i don't know no, no, yeah that's i know i'm right no, but what was the game that I said, or the movie that I said? Something about the bag of Azure. Legend of Bagger Vance. Yeah, I almost said Azerbaijan. <laughs> Just I've never heard of it. That's actually a really good movie, though. It's with Will. Yeah, Will Smith's in it. What? And uh, Matt, and Matt Damon. Damn! Look at Matt Damon with the I hair. Know. Yeah, it's uh, Bagger Vance. Yeah, Legend. Oh, it's of on HBO. You should tune into it. It's a really good movie. I have HBO. Yeah. Came out and, but like you said, it, it, like some of these movies just kind of get you know looked over. They don't really get. Yeah, like I feel like the lot. easy answer is Caddyshack, which is it's great, but it can't always be Caddyshack. And hot take: uh, the greatest game ever played. That's uh, when Shia LaBeouf is Francis. Uh, we met or Umet, I always forget how to pronounce his name, but he was like the first amateur to ever win like a a major. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's a really cool story, which yeah, I like I like that movie as well. That one's good. I I I like Tin Cup the best because of just how relatable it is. Oh what's it? Uh, Kevin Costner, Costner, yeah, Kevin yeah. Costner, yeah. Taking the shots over and over. Another. Again. Another. Yeah. 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 And then getting mad at his caddy, like Cheech, mm -hmm. and breaking all the clubs. Oh, I can only use this one now. You only like, have one ball left. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is a good movie. Relatable. <laughs> uh, so eighteen live golf uh members, live golf league members. There's only um, eighteen of them. No, but eighteen of them earned invites to play in the PGA oh, Championship. Oh, oh. So there's uh invites now that are playing in in some of these majors, which is kind of funny that they have. We figured out what the merger actually means for the two. Um. Well, live. You cannot. They they fully declined. They pulled the plug on. Uh, trying to get the O uh, O W 
the rankings the, yep the official world rankings stupid um so they said screw that because again that joakim uh neiman neiman just won an event and he actually like he, dropped he dropped what the hell he dropped like three spots in their world ranking so they, they, they're essentially pulled the plug on that which again it's kind of stupid they didn't so i don't think they're like at this point we don't really care about that yeah um you pick i guess you pick your battles yeah and he but a lot of these golfers are still getting um invites to play in major championships i think um, i think if they've won they should still be grandfathered in i, I personally agree. yeah i agree but like, it, it will be really cool at least we'll be able to see some of these majors most of the most of the top guys. names from yeah. both sides, um, which I think at the end of the day is what everyone wants to kind of see again. My Who favorite the... thing, obviously you're not watching full swing yet, but what the hell? The hell was that? Why did the Huh? Okay. Spooky spooky. <laughs> um screen went blank. Yeah. We had a little had our logo. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. They we were kind of talking about it on full swing. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, we were t- you said I know I wasn't watching it. I don't know if it was because all the- we're talking about like the top players are going to play in the PGA or play in all the four majors. Oh, they were asking Dustin Johnson if, uh, or maybe it wasn't Dustin Johnson. They were asking somebody if the PGA player should be compensated for not leaving the PGA for live, mm-hmm. and they were like, why? Oh, so those players that didn't move over to live that are staying on the PGA tours, yeah, they're saying like they should be compensated more yeah. money because yeah. they didn't jump. Yeah, why? Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I am by no means a professional golfer. I'm not even the best golfer on this podcast. Not by, maybe one day, yeah, but not yet. Plays, I have some incredible shots every now and then. I'm probably not even the best golfer that we've had on, in terms of other podcasts. Although it I, doesn't matter. I hit Brennan's lefty club better than Brennan hits his skull. <laughs> I was say it doesn't really matter. But if you were to say, hey Dom, here's $150 million plus you get to play and make more money. I mm-hmm. that is life-changing money. I don't care. Because I think what people fail to understand, the PGA is a company, right? That's their employer. If you know, your employer said, hey, Derek, we're going to skip over you, your raise. But that company over there said, well, they'll double it. Are you staying? The end of the day, it's a business, right? Uh, but are, are you staying? Probably not. No, you're jumping ship. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to look into the company to make sure it's legit. But yeah, when they're going to raise, yeah. give you life-changing money. Well, I think Brooks Kepka said it the best. He said his family is now financially set. For generations. For right? generations. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, that is crazy. I golfer I've been, I forgot about. I love Brock. I do too, actually. And I, I know it's like a hot take. So I was like, man, he's so cocky. And I'm like, but he fucking wins the yes. same event every freaking year. And it's always the U.S. Open. And he's dead, he's battled some uh, health issues. And now he's kind of like getting back to full health. So he's been. been yeah. Better. And he almost won the Masters. Yeah. Liv's got a, uh, Liv's got a really solid. Uh, list of players yeah i think it'd be kind of cool to do it would be cool to do like uh i just think people forget that the pga is their employer Mm -hmm. right like i understand that they have to earn it but it's like you have to kind of interview and earn your job in a way i had to earn my promotion you had to earn our promotion yeah you know we still work for it but if somebody's like hey that company over there said they'll triple what you're making plus you get incentives that happens all the time right yeah and most people are like hey congratulations that's awesome yeah oh bye not hey man i hate you now It's a good point. It's a good way to look at it. I know. Um, I have. A, I don't really like Justin Thomas, but he was saying he's like, ah, I didn't like to talk to people and live because of this, and now I have like added reasons why. And I'm like, that's the most petty thing I've ever heard. It's kind of like Rory too, man. Don't get me wrong. I I I'm a big fan of Rory, but he's been kind of eating his words because a lot of the stuff he's bashed live, and now, but like he's also not been good no, he, the last few years. No, he's been struggling. For sure, but he's always still like, his name, so he's got you know he's always. Yeah, I guess if I guess if I'm struggling like Tiger or Rory, I'm not saying. I was no Tiger's one of the greatest ever. Mm-hmm. I'm taking that money. Whoa. What if we? Oh, that's the microphone. 
Yeah. What if we just unplug this and do that? Wow, it's way worse. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It looks like... We've been so spoiled with that camera. We have been, yeah. That's weird. That is weird. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Weird. We look kind of... Way worse. (laughs) Okay. That was weird. Yeah. Well, in any case, we'll we'll wrap it up. We do want to definitely talk about... um, We'll kind of jump from the PGA to the live. Now we're going to talk about the better event. What's the better? Oh, our, yeah, our event, our event, and and we're not we're not gonna be paying out. We're not gonna be writing those big fat checks by any means, but it'll be a. We awesome should time. we should get the big checks and for like five bucks. That'd be cool. This is yeah, that would be actually really cool. I don't think I've seen that in an event like like a that kind of like for that tournament. You yeah, know? I still wish we would have been able to do like walk up songs. I just feel like planning that would be so hard. That's something that we should keep in mind, though. That would be really cool if we could figure it out. Yeah, yeah like yeah, everybody I don't think can. We need to rule it out. I think we. That would... uh, yeah, we could do like. Obviously, it's to be a shotgun. Some things are going to rotate, right? Mm-hmm. So whenever and they, whenever they get to the first wall, if we realistically, realistically, if you plan it out properly, we know who's where, when, we could do the walk up songs. Logistically, it's possible. If it's going to happen, I don't know. Yeah, let's not rule it out. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be sweet. So, so Saturday, uh, July twentieth, we will be hosting a scramble event. Um, we've teamed up with uh, Jordan and Big Phil at Odin Golf, which we've obviously hosted a couple of events with them, and we we really um, we've continued to make progress, and each event kind of continues to get better and better, and we're it really is stoked. The second annual shindig. Second annual shindig. Because I don't think we're calling the pop up. Uh, no, no, dig. this would be technically yeah the second annual shindig, and this is now in our home base, uh, in our home state, I should say Minnesota. Minnesota. Yep. So we are excited to have people come from from out of, you know all over the place. Uh, but again, if you're listening slash watching, um, we're still hashing all the details, but we do have the course in place, and it is Saturday, July twentieth. It's going to be, I think, eighty people. It's going to be the max. Are we going to say what course it is? Uh, we'll keep that kind of. We'll just. I mean, yeah, we could. It doesn't really matter. We do. Yeah. Locked in. I mean, I guess if you listen this far in, you should probably well know know, right? know the deets. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. And... We are doing it at. I don't want to drum roll because I don't know the rhythm. Uh, Emerald Greens. Emerald Greens. We are playing the silver course, the longer one of the two. Yep. And we we've we've kind of scoped it out. We haven't played that. I don't think we played that course. So I have so. I asked Ryan if bogeys are fine because they're they're going to be a sponsor, which mm-hmm. is super dope. We're basically awesome. we have a, we have a handful of local sponsors, mm-hmm. which is super cool. Uh, so shout out bogeys are fine. We've had them on before. Ryan is great. Steve is great. I, I wasn't on that podcast, but I've met them in person. Yeah, they're you, awesome guys. You miss all the good ones. I know. Anyways, good people. I asked them because obviously Ryan was there when we played in the random golf club event. Uh, Ryan doesn't know of course that way. He wasn't sure either. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't sure. So. I have no idea, but we're doing the silver. It's the longer one of the two. We still have to pick longest drive, the closest to the pin. Um, but it's sponsored by obviously Odin Golf, and then Bogies are fine, and then we have a couple other, yeah, um, local sponsors that may not be golf related, but are still health and performance related. So, and if you're interested in sponsoring. Or donating whatever it is, uh, prizes, products, because we're going to do a lot really, of raffles. It's a really cheap sponsorship, too. Yeah, take advantage of it. We'd love to promote, help you out, helps us out. Um, but we're very excited. We've obviously kind of got a, a, a an early start, so we're excited. We've been planning it already for quite some time, so it's really coming into. And somehow I got put in charge, which is Dom Dom's kind of kind of wild. Yeah, he's been because whenever I'm put in charge of anything, it's either super good or everyone's like what is going on <laughs> well yeah you've been doing you've been doing a lot of good stuff i mean the cool thing with these is you know it's it's a team effort but it is a lot of work so you kind of realize that there's a lot of a lot of things on the back end so it's so much smoother this go around too the yeah. first time was a little chaotic and hectic and well and like even like leading up to it like a week before it was like is this happening there was a yeah even day of with the weather, we didn't know things on that. There's a lot of things. The I bus didn't... showing up. Are we talking the original one or the, the one in so, California? Okay, we're talking about that one. Yeah, the original one. We're like, oh, it's gonna rain, yeah, and then it did rain. A lot of factors. Yeah, there was a lot of things that were like, oh, it went really well. But again, every event we've hosted, we've learned things that we and nobody's will do. died. Nobody's died. Uh, <laughs> 
but but yeah we'll we'll obviously put out some more information as as uh new things kind of unfold but uh mark in your calendar if you're able to attend if you're local or if you want to you know uh come out and and uh and join the uh join in on the festivities we're probably going to do something on on a, a friday or something like that as far as uh uh you know, just kind of a casual type of meetup. We're not really sure yet, but that's still in the works. But again, we'd love to see you out there. Um, I think it will sell out and it'll it'll uh, book up pretty quickly. Yeah. So we should definitely, when we have more information, we'll let you guys know. Um, that being said, Dom, it's been awesome. I know it's been kind of a long day today, but it's nice to just kind of like- The best part is we're like, damn, there's no guests. We can do it early. Yeah. And we still didn't do it early. No, nope. it's like we're literally like we're just like it's the, clockwork. It's, it's the, the same, same time. time. It is the same it's, time. Well, it's been a blast. And I, I hopefully you guys enjoy these episodes. I know we don't do them very often, but we enjoy them. I enjoy them. Um, I should just stop scheduling people. I, don't get me wrong. I think like the guests and ha- like hearing conversations and stories is, is so cool. It's like one of my favorite parts of doing the podcast. Doing but, the picks brought me back doing yeah it yeah. did it's a little bit of nostalgia on that but it's just kind of like nice to like i don't want to say it's a lot of pressure um when we have a guest but there is definitely that like a little pressure because you don't know how they're going to respond you know uh to the questions or just whatever it might be Especially like having a conversation with me <laughs> no i think you do a great job it's just it's just it's nice kind of a little bit of a breath of fresh air just to kind of like sit back sit back and just yeah. have a good time and talk and hopefully we can kind of scatter these in more frequently i know we're booked up quite a bit but yeah. if some of these kind of come up we'll you know if there's issues or cancellations we'll yeah. try to do you know keep keep it going but um we appreciate you guys listening tuning in uh is there you anything know, else I, you, you know what i'm kind of scared for hmm. i don't know what kind of reels this is gonna spit out probably some crazy ones i hope it's just like here's Dom talking about absolute nonsense and it's just a rant about tin cup I think what we should do is hopefully we can get a clip of our picks and then we can let, when we post it, we can let people decide of what we should do at the end. You know, if we had started this video. earlier, absolutely. The issue is it's still just as late. I, yeah, no, I meant like for like, for the like overall. Oh, I know, but I got to make that real then. That's true. You can do, I mean, you know, it doesn't make a hot rush because we can post it when, what is today, Tuesday? We can post it whenever. I think it'd be a good conversation piece of like, hey, we're going to do this bit. What do you guys think we should do for the winner at the end or the loser at the end of the year? Oh, God, a loser bet. That's that's kind of what I was getting at. Like whoever, like we, if we do these picks weekly and we might be able to even add these in with our guests or we could do it before yeah, or at, at the end. Yeah. And then we could uh, yeah, kind of just say, hey, damn it. I'm going to try to make the real. I think you win. A conversation piece. You yeah. win. I mean, but granted, the ones that I always try to come up with always fail. So. I mean, it could be a total, total yeah. flop. Tom, the Stanley one. It's going to go viral. And then it's the fucking Captain Crunch. The freaking Captain Crunch. The Catalina <laughs> wine mixer. <laughs> uh, but no, again, we appreciate your time as always. And we look forward to... Uh, uh, Hold on. Next episode. Yeah. Do you have a friendship bracelet? Nope. This is actually my niece made this for me. It's his uncle. Okay, we're ending this. <laughs> so... I'm not even kidding. She's 28. Is she really? No. Oh, she's like nine. Oh. It's funny that you and Freddie's like, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she's like nine. So she made it for me. Yeah. Oh.